ladies here. And so we're still promoting that agenda, <laughs> like you told, yes. But this time, from the medical point of view, Dr. Nana Ajoa Emoedu uh, Sumitawa. All right, Sumitawa. Yes. Did I mention it well? Perfect. Right, okay. And Dr. Rachel Ose are my guests, and uh, they, are, they work around an estate. What's that exactly? Yes, so good morning. Thank you for inviting us and giving us this opportunity. Good morning to Ghana. We are members of Ghana Anesthetic Society. I'm actually the treasurer. Um, anesthesia is um, a specialized field in medicine. So what we do is to take care of you perioperatively. So before you go for any surgery, you have to see us. And we assess your fitness. We discuss with you and let you understand the best mode of anesthesia applicable to your situation, looking at um, how you are presenting, what you are going in for, etc. So for instance, someone will say, oh, I went for an operation and they put medication at my back. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've heard that before. Mm -hmm. and then I was numb. Some people will put to sleep. Some people will be awake speaking, but a bit dizzy. Some people will be blocked at a certain area of their bodies. Mm -hmm. We are mm -hmm. Oh, I, mean, I see. We specialize in that. We also do, so we, we do pain management to make sure you don't remember what you shouldn't remember. We make sure you sleep where you should sleep. We make sure you are pain free. So we also have a department called the pain management section. Mm. So for acute and chronic pain. And then we have the critical care. If uh, you remember at the peak of the COVID pandemic, pandemic and then there were ICUs everywhere. Mm -hmm. so we man ICUs. We are critical care physicians. Okay. So, that so what is it means the, is that if okay. I go, anyone that goes into a surgery and still feels pain, means that you've not done your job. So there are many Okay. Our job is to make sure you are pain free to titrate to your effect. Oh, okay. Yes. I see. So for surgeries where you are awake, you communicate. How are you doing? How are you feeling? You know, different people react differently. differently. But your yes. job is to ensure that I'm fit for whatever it is. You are fit be. for surgery. surgery. You survive the surgery. Okay. Post operatively, you are okay. Where mm. you need to be in the ICU and kept a bit more, we mm. do that. And mm. then you're also pain free. I see. 16th October. Every year, is that it? Is World Anesthesia Year? Yeah. All right, day. And so, what happens? It's just education like this. Yeah, so, 16th October has been set aside okay. because on um, the 16th of October 1846, that's right. when the first patient is successfully anesthetized for a surgery. This happened okay. in um, Massachusetts, okay. in America. So, it's just to commemorate that. Um, that's advancing mm. medicine. Mm. So every 16th October, we have themes that we um, that we stick with. So okay. then we have the local theme, and then we have the international theme. Okay. So internationally, we are under the um, the WFSC, the um, like the mother. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Body. Right. Yes. Indeed. Um, and their theme is medication safety. Okay. So locally, we are under the. Um, Ghana Anesthetic Society. Okay. And our theme this year is Safe Urgent Resuscitation. Okay. Safe Urgent, urgent resuscitation. resuscitation. Okay. Yes. What, what, why is that? Is, it, is, is there a gap that you saw in yeah. the fact that it's not safe and yes. it's not urgent? So, so in, in more advanced countries, mm. they are struggling. So you can only imagine the gap wow. in the middle to low income mm. countries. So most collapses pain or most cardiac arrest that's mm -hmm. where we are mm -hmm. now in it too mm -hmm. it happens in the homes because of course people don't live in hospitals okay. so about 70 percent in the homes and a little bit around um, around workplaces mm -hmm. etc and then some of the nursing homes so before you bring your loved one you should have been able to do something about the condition okay so that is why we are here saying that if you're able to sort of give some first aid in terms of resuscitation, mm. you'll be you more double or triple the, the likelihood Chances of an outcome right? okay. Yes, okay. For, for our patients. We have That's limited it. resources already. Mm. So do something to be less bedding and then also sort of help with the mm. progress of, the, of your lab. You know what we'll do? Let's quickly go into the exercise here so that uh, we don't get carried away. Yes. And so what are we going to be doing? Yes. So today we are going to do a short demonstration. We mm -hmm. know we have time constraints here. Okay. We are going to show how you go about the collapsed person. Okay. So you meet maybe your loved one or your girlfriend, whatever, whoever mm. collapses. What do you do? Mm. So we are going to do scene safety. You, of course, you don't want somebody collapsing in fire and you are going to be the ninja mm -hmm. or the hero mm -hmm. or the hero. 
No, mm -hmm. you have to be safe. Your loved one or stranger, whoever has to be safe. And then we do the response, the responsiveness. So you tap on the shoulder. The person is not um, responding. Then you call for help. The National Ambulance 112. And there's a machine. That what we are going to show is just your hands. Mm -hmm. And then this machine, which must be available in most all institutions. You know. Is it an expensive that we can get it, at home? It, it's, it's a bit expensive. Okay. Then again, it's a medical equipment and it's life saving. So it's mm -hmm. worth investment. investment. Yes. And then I we see. do the chest compressions. We ask for a song. If it's available, we use it for the chest compressions. They are, there's a rhythm and there's a rate, and that song helps us to get the right rate that okay. we need. You brought the song? We, we asked them, the producer, okay. to make it available. Available, yes, I see. So. If not that, uh, we, we, can we, 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 we can We can go ahead. It gives us the rate and rhythm, okay. so we are hopeful that right. it's so available. So what are we starting off with? So, so this, we have two mannequins, two mannequins here. We have already attached the AED to demonstrate because we won't be demonstrating that. We'll go quickly into scene safety assessment and then responsiveness and then the chest compressions when we start the chest compressions we are hopeful that the song will be playing and then we use that to show the rhythm and then we'll kindly ask you to demonstrate as we have taught no problem <laughs> see, we're okay. here. So, like oh we yeah. know yeah. and then if we have some time we do adult choking and, and that will be all for, for today so, so doctor scene safety scene safety scene safety so dr richel say we enact that quickly and then we go on okay so quickly scene safety if possible you take it away if not we have to move the person out of the way onto a flat surface so more like electrical gadgets and all that clear them off yes so we're assuming that we've done that so the scene is safe so now you check for responsive see if the person can answer you you kneel down by any of the Of your please show us the heel of <laughs> okay, over here. Okay, the right. Okay, then you interlock the fingers okay. of the non dominant hand. Right. So you're using this part for the compression. Okay, so you look for the breast bone. Breast bone, yes, that's that the hard flat bone in the middle of the chest. Okay, so if these are my breasts, the middle. Yes, right in the middle. <laughs> so you look for the, because I always look for the lower half of the breastbone. Mm. So if this is the breastbone here, you just divide it in your mind. Okay, lower half. Yes, so you're okay. dealing with directly on the lower half. Okay. Side. So as you already interlock your fingers. Okay. So you put it on the lower half. Okay. And then you lock your elbow, so your arm should be shaped. And you lean directly over the patient. Mm -hmm. So your action is not coming from here, mm -hmm. it's coming from your body. Okay. Your okay. yeah. shoulders, the upper, the upper part of the, oh, the shoulders. Yeah. All right. So, you push so the song can play, please. So this rhythm gives us a rate of about 110 in a minute. We need you to compress hard and fast, up to 120 compressions, so 100 to 120. This rhythm gives us a perfect rate of 100, which is okay for your for your loved one. If you come this way, you see there are two shining yellow um, stuff there, as you can see. We wanted the camera to capture that, and this, these are AJ mannequins. Yes, perfect. So it tells you that this, this is these mannequins are from Operation Small Ghana, and we are using them in gas and then using them for trainers. So as we train the individual, the person now knows the depth that is adequate for mm -hmm. the mannequin and therefore for the patient or for your loved one. And then the rhythm that is good. If the rhythm and the depth are fine, you get these two nice light bulbs showing. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. So what it means is that you are going Thank to have you. to do this 100 times. So no. So what it means is that when you follow the rhythm, okay. you are going to compress 110 times, you know, for the, to, to allow for blood circulation. Okay. And then the depth should be about one third of the chest. Okay. So if the depth is adequate and the rhythm is adequate, you get two nice light balls there shining there. Okay. Yes. So how about I try? 
yes, it's time. And then so, when you are tired, remember you've called for help. Yes. Somebody should take over. After two minutes, you have to stop and somebody takes over. Oh. Yes. Uh, okay. okay, so I, I have to ensure that the area is fine. Yes. And then I have to call. Sumitiwa, get help, please. Get help. So, Which one? So, so you ensure that the area is safe and you Ooh, are safe. Then you, you tap because maybe he's sleeping. He maybe he's just tired. Maybe he's broken heart. Okay. And needs a bit of cajole. Sumitiwa. Sumitiwa. Not Sumitiwa. responding. Now, now it's fine, right? Yes. Now call for help. Yes. And call the ambulance. Service. One one two and bring one, the AED. And bring the AED. Perfect. Mm. Now locate your. Okay. If the song can play, okay, all right. Play. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Pa 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 pa. Oh, this guy can't do it too fast. fast if so. it's too fast, it will it will it will alert you. Let's go. Okay. That's why the orange is blinking. Pa 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 pa. Pa, deep enough, please. Pa, 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 pa. Wow. Pa, 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 pa. Perfect, perfect. What's he be sending me message? I just got like something. Oh, no. So I would like to make a short um, comment on the AED. Right. So on the other mannequin, we've already put on the parts for the AED. It's okay. a simple device. You just follow the instructions. Is it? Is it? an alternative to this no no it's an adjunct okay right. so and it's a necessary adjunct okay so what it does is it, it jump starts jump starts the heart it's okay. like the jump starter it's like the starter of the car Indeed. yes right. the engine starter right. of the car right so when you you just follow instructions you put it on the person's chest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it will tell you whether you should shock or not shock it okay. just tells you follow instructions okay so it's good for every institution mm -hmm. to have i see yes so how are you going to be fixing that so uh, while you're doing this, the other person also takes Thompson. over. And then when, when do you introduce this? So you've called me to bring the AED, call the ambulance, oh, yeah. call for help. Yeah. So I bring it. Hmm? As, as you are doing this, I, I place the paddles on, on, on the patient, on the person exactly you're loved ones. So, so as you can see, the, there's even a picture on it where to put it. Oh. If you look at it very well, below the right clavicle and underneath the left breast. Oh, I so see. you just follow instructions. Okay. It's on, very on simple to use. Right. And you say it's... A bit expensive. It's Mark, a bit expensive, it's worth, but it's worth, worth the investment. Worth the investment. It's investment. the defibrillator you see in movies. Okay. Like the okay. thing that says clear, clear. Okay. I'm sure you've seen some medical yeah, yeah, scenes. Yeah, yeah, clear, yeah, clear, clear, clear. Basically, this is Vlam. what the Vlam. layman needs. Yes. Anyway, so, so let's sit down. Let's sit down. So that's by way of the exercise. And um, most importantly, as for me, that where, where do you introduce the 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 breath? The, is that a CPR? The mouth-to-mouth. The mouth-to-mouth. Mouth mouth mouth. Out for now because of um, COVID, um, oh. and also um, it's a bit more difficult to do. Um, mm. The rescuer might waste a lot of time trying to get it right mm. and give the person breath. So, mm. what we have shown you is hands only CPR, mm. just do continuous chest compressions at the rates that we mentioned. Okay, yes, and but it is still done for children, okay, but right. not for adults. Not, not for we adults. had wanted to demonstrate choking if there's time, but okay. What's choking? Choking, so choking occurs mostly in restaurants and in the homes and washrooms, etc. The person is like this. You eat and then the food goes into the wrong place. The right. wind pipe instead of the food pipe. Right. Yes. So the person may be coughing a bit, suffocating, yes. you know, in distress. Yes. So you have to relieve the, the choking, right. the choker. Okay. So so that's one of the vital things to right. do if, if we can yeah, go ahead and demonstrate. I mean, it's worth okay. the time. So I'm going to choke and then mm. Dr. Richard, since she's taller than I am, okay. she relieved the choking. Okay. And then we show a bit and then you also relieve choking. Right. Okay. So I'm choking and I'm like this. So she's showing the universal sign of choking. So okay. If you see someone doing this, it means that they are choking. Okay. But if they can't and make any noise, when you speak to them, you don't hear any breath at all. Mm. And that's just a sign of choking. Okay. So you say, are you choking? Do you want me to help you? So you have to seek consent from the right. Some person might say no and right. there's nothing you can do about right. it. So you have to ask the person. So she wants my help. So I guess behind her, mm. I ask her to open her legs. Okay. And wide. Right. So put one leg in between her okay. because of the force if i don't do that i can fall we can both fall back right. because i'm giving i take my dominant hand okay and i make a fist with my thumb in it okay so i find where her belly button is okay and then i put it just above the belly button and i roll it once upwards so it should be in between the chest and the belly button okay and i take my other hand and i just cover that hand that I put on here. Right. And then I do an inward and upward 
thrust. Okay. It's called an abdominal thrust. Okay. So something like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you oh. keep doing it. Oh, oh I see. So there is also there are two outcomes. So either the she's relieved of the obstruction, so whatever was blocking, blocking the right. wind pipe will come off. Right. I get to see that in lots of movies. Yes. Alright. So you either see that she's now breathing again or you can hear her and right. uh, make sounds. Right. Or she becomes unresponsive. Mm. Even when you are doing it, she becomes unresponsive. So at that point you're now going to do CPR, lay her oh. on the floor. They are now going to do what CPR. We just did. Yes. I see. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, right. And it's very important that after the choking, because it is I didn't do it very hard because she's not choking, okay. but it's quite a forceful, forceful it's a one. quick right. inward and upward. upward. So something like this. Okay. Yes. Do you want to? So yeah, yeah, why not? Yes. yes. All right. So, so am I trying it or we would like you to try it if oh. that's okay. Okay. Right. okay. So Rachel, do you want to? Yes. Please. Okay. So, so She'll be like this. Okay. And then so, you tap her. Please, are you choking? Yes. Do you want me to help? I can mm -hmm. help you. I can help you. Yes. So she so opens oh, her legs. Please open your legs. I then, come yes. in the middle. Yes. I bring. So you find the belly button, okay. which is just here. Okay. Somewhere here. Okay. And then you come above it. Okay. Like and roll up. Okay. Okay. And then there's. The thrust. The, the thrust. And. One, two. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this way, yes, yeah, so it's as it's if you're sort scooping, of. yes, sort scooping, of. sort yes. of inward and outward thrust. Okay, yes. Yes. I see yes. Yes. because see. of how forceful it yes. is, it mm -hmm. can actually cause um, injury to the abdomen. But this is something that um, you can look over, look over yes. because so you're because choking, that, you have to take the person to hospital. Oh, to right. get over. Yes. yes, yes, yes. I see. So that's that's as important as ever to me. Uh, these exercises are things we all need to learn because even the younger ones are dying of cardiac arrest now. Oh, I've oh, had a friend oh. about last two weeks who died of cardiac arrest and it's a sad thing to do. And so if I were to know this and I was there, I would have just done, done this something. All right, so quickly, let's wrap up the conversation. So don't you think that we should be maybe inculcating this into our curriculum because yes, everybody yes. needs to be. I think in the more advanced countries it's done. Mm. What we are, this initiative is a gas initiative. We've been training for free since September in okay. any entity that calls us and then we sort of look at the times that mm. will be available mm. and all that. We are crowning it. I wouldn't say crowning, but we are celebrating our 16th October anniversary celebrations on the 15th. We want to give, keep giving to society. Mm. So we are collaborating with the Ghana Basketball Federation. Okay. Um, we are training about 100 young ladies and up to 50 of their technical staff, including media, etc. Mm. in Legon on, um, at, from 10 to 3 p.m. Mm. But we will start around 11, in, 10 to 3 p.m. 3 p.m. We start around 11 a.m. Mm. So we are, we are just training and training and training until we get to the point where it's part of, um, it's part of the curriculum, mm. you know. Mm. Yes, until it's part of us, until it becomes see. part and parcel of us. Final words you want to learn before we go. Um, so, um, CPR, that's cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Mm. So cardio meaning the heart, mm -hmm. and then pulmonary meaning the lungs. Okay. It's very important in society. And they are, what we have taught you is basic life support. Right. So that can be done by anyone. anyone. So you don't have to be a doctor or a nurse to be able to give CPR. Mm. And giving early, um, giving early and um, BLS right. saves us of life. Right. So there are many causes of it. So people who have not eaten for a long time, low blood sugar, mm. and sometimes people have had seizures after they can become anesthetic or even during mm. the seizure. People who are severely dehydrated, they haven't drunk water the whole mm. day. Well, people who have had um, even um, in their emotional causes of collapse. Mm. So some of us receive very shocking news, very bad news or surprising news. And there are even a few cases of over-excitement that have caused I see. collapse. I see. Well. This is what you will do to, to as yes. a way of intervening in that space. Finally. Yes. So we want to thank you once again, right. TV Africa. I want to thank us, Operation Smile for the Mannequins and okay. our seniors who have been supporting us. And we want to tell Ghana that this is a good initiative. Right. It's a great one. Um, if you want to support us, we are willing and ready. And if you can, and the media houses can, the TV Africa can, they should meet us on Saturday okay. for the Crown de la Crown.
crown crown of crowning okay. but well, we'll continue our trainings to well, end the free trainings to entities that have already invited us till end of october I see. where is that happening quickly and that is university of ghana basketball court okay I see. that's yes. where it's happening time this from 10 to 3 p.m we'll okay. start our training at 11. i see yes. anyway so talking about drinking of water we have to drink water now because the whole day i'm fond of doing that it's not an exciting time uh in news dr richard Osei and of course dr nana ajoa simitiwa amuidu were my guests thank you very much indeed. thank and you say hi to everyone out there in the in your uh, organization thank you